ready to go with the correct codes in hand. So let's find out where that start screen is going to be. Any predictions, Wolfman? Uh, I am going to say Southeast Lake Square, 6A. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to say we're going to start in the desert. We are going to start in the desert somewhere. All right. We will soon find out. And it is 4D near the Armo section. Nice. All right. All right, so it was kind of close, but not close enough. Yeah, we're, this is a good starting spot, because they're going to have easy access to these Armo statues as long as they don't get popped. Ice Blue's able to get there. That is a potion shop, but without the letter or any cash to their name, there's nothing they can do at this time. So both these runners are going to now head for this Armo statue to see if we can get an item. That's going to be a staircase, and we have got potentially a door repair penalty. We won't know until we find some others, but that is another change that I had neglected to mention. Instead of the nine door repair penalties that you saw in First Quest, we've upped it now to 10 door repair penalties, and that can be anywhere between 15 and 25 rupees gone from your wallet. And the reason why we say potential door repair is because there are two rooms that still offer some general hints as to where a sword upgrade room is located. Not to mention the white sword item, but of course, without the book, there's nothing you can do about it. Every every Hylian that you're going to see is going to say that same message. My lips are sealed, and without that book, those Hylians are going to stay silent as we find the raft as our ladder item on the coast. Ooh, that is a <laughs> ladder for raft. That doesn't give me good feelings. Also, both runners by now have found one of the two info shops where you have to pay rupees in order to find out what is being said. But we still need the book in order to understand it. So how about Casino Corner over here on the right? Or no, is, is Ice Blue trying to go screen scroll? Yep. Good screen scroller. He's going to check this Armo statue. Is he going to find a prize here? Oh, you better believe he's going to find a prize. It's the white sword. Uh, wooden sword? Yeah, we're not going to need you today. <laughs> in, in fact, that's going to open up another take any cape potentially. If these runners find the wood sword, especially on Ice Blue's end right now, and uh, Bobby Fries, he's about to get his uh, sword as well. Unfortunately, Ice Blue taking a death near Casino Alley, so back to the start he goes. If they find that wood sword cape, they're going to take that candle. That's going to be a free candle right there, so that is a big find for both of these runners. Indeed. Remember, folks, the wooden sword is always accessible with nothing. So this bomb, well, it leads to a dungeon, but that would never have the wooden sword. So which dungeon is this? I have no idea, but we will find out. I'm sure people in chat, they're going to play along. Well, we know it's not going to be levels one through three because there's normally not dark rooms in levels one through three. So it's got to be four through eight. And I am suspecting... Ooh, that was well, tea that room, a, maybe. Yeah, tea room or. <laughs> yeah. Bobbing for fries. He's going to check the casino. That's a potion shop, so nothing doing there. He's only got one rupee to his name, plus, he still does not have a letter. Now, Bobbing for fries is going to check Northeast Hyrule. The, another potion shop. So, we have found our medicine district here in Hyrule, Northeast Hyrule. Now, the reason um, Ice Blue couldn't pick up that map, Math Girl, is because that is a tea room. Without the ladder or a workaround, Ice Blue can't get to that room. Can't get to that map. Oh, okay. Ice Blue did have a key, but... Oh no, there's another but. We could see an important trick here. If you're out of keys and there's a single shuttered door, you could attempt to... Never mind, we're not seeing a Kineni key yet. Now, a little early, and you know, ooh, these uh, these keys rolled high, either three or four HP. They do not go even down in a single white sword hit, so that's ugly. Yeesh, that means the boomerang is not really going to be of use. No, I'm afraid not. So if we if we see a boomerang early on for either of these runners, I really don't think we're going to see any kind of pickups here. So. That is one of the uh, hints that you would see an old man would say, but again, without the book, really nothing he can do about it at this time. Um, I, I still don't know what level this is. Is this four? I think that's four. Yeah, this is going to be level four. So if, if Ice Blue is able to find a staircase, 
he'll be able to, he'll be the first one to find an item because level four is the last dungeon that does not have a transport staircase but we meanwhile bob and for fries has found a grayscale level so contestants name that level we we know that it is located where you get the letter in first quest wow but... these wall masters rolled extremely high and there's the recorder for ice blue Yep, recorder in what we believe to be level four, at least if that shape is any indication. That means those wall masters either roll to five or six HP as Bobbing for Fries finds a nickel on the ground and has to take care of even more wall masters. Well, he's going to get uh, some good money off of it, provided he doesn't get uh, grabbed by the wall masters. Boy, they, they are closing in on him fast. There's another nickel on the ground for Bobbing for Fries. And uh oh, Blue Land Mole is a nice blue site. Get away. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oy, but hold on, we can possibly get out. There we go, there's the bomb. And there is the Triforce room that's actually guarded this time. Yep, so the Triforce is in the Triforce room, but it is not a plain Triforce room, so I don't think we can give the creator the uh, full treatment. Of course, that's up to the chat to decide, but that is Ice Blue's first Triforce piece. So he's going to take an early lead here. I wonder what level bombing for fries is in. It's, again, another uh, dark room, so it's it, it's got to be somewhere between 5 and 8. Well, looks like Ice Blue wants to investigate. Yep, Ice Blue's in that same level right now that Bob for fries is in. Down to one heart, needs to be careful here. But he's going to find a heart container here, and that's going to give him a 1 in 3 chance of picking up the white sword item, whatever it might be, if he can find it. Indeed. And, uh, this room that Ice Blue is in, I did not see a freestanding item, so we could have something here. It could be a transport staircase, could be an item. It is a push block. There is a staircase. Let's see if it's an item or if it's going to be a transport staircase. Let's find out. We've got... It's the item! Wand! Oh, and Bobbing for Fries unfortunately takes an unfortunate death. Yeah, that, that's a great complimentary item that Ice Blue just found to go with that white sword. So now if he finds any Patras, he can go to work on it with that white sword and one. He can do some serious damage. Four HP per strike if you know how to do it right. So great find there for Ice Blue. I just saw Bobbing for Fries' map. Unless uh, he had changed levels, this may be level four. Five or six. Yeah, we're getting a lot of indication. This is definitely not level eight. And I know, for, and I, I, I tell people, as much as I run this game, the vanilla game, it's all muscle memory to me. It's not like I pay attention to the map layout. So I have no, I, I have about as much idea as everybody else. So it's either five or six. And uh, we're starting to get some indication. This very well might be level five. I thought I saw something on uh, Bobbing for Fries' pause screen that is making me think otherwise, but yep, I'll man. have to wait. <laughs> and you're getting the same agreement from everybody else. I, th I think this is level 6, so this would be the second biggest dungeon outside of level 7, prior to level 9, of course, being 57 rooms, level 7 being 33 rooms. And now Ice Blue seeing those same super strong uh, <laughs> wall masters here. McFry is quickly up to 20 rupees, and he's just an orange dark nut away from discovering his wand. That was a very good fight, of course, with the beam sword. Makes things a lot easier. Unfortunately, Ice Blue taking a death, so he'll have to go back to the start of the dungeon. As Bobbing for Fries now has the extra armament. So now, um, the book is going to act as a double-edged sword for both of these runners. In addition to understanding what the Hylians are going to say, it has the same kind of um, disadvantages that the book normally would give you. When you make contact with the enemy or the wall, the wand beam bursts into flames. Now, it can deal extra damage to enemies like, say... Um, Land Molas and Gibdos, and some people use it as a long-range candle, but it does make doing that uh, wand and sword trick against Patra that more difficult. Plus, you can get hit by your own uh, flames there, and it's usually not fun. So people before this tournament would avoid the book like the plague. Oh, what have we done? We force people to pick up the book to understand old men and women and other 
creatures as, ooh, another dungeon. We found a lot of dungeons in this northeast section. That's a nice little cluster of dungeons here, so uh, these runners potentially could be uh, three-fifths of the way to being eligible to go to level nine, which we, of course, have not found yet. Nice clock drop there against these super ropes, and it looks like they either rolled neutral or low, because it didn't look like Bombing for Fries had too much trouble with that fight, and he's already found the compass, so now he knows where the Triforce is, so if he were to grab the Triforce and pause the screen, we could get an idea of what level they're in. So I wonder what level these runners could be in this nice black colored level. This, this is a nice color. I always like this scheme. That's kind of pleasing on the eye. We, we already have chat thinking this could either be three or one, and if it's one, our runners are going to want to explore. Ooh, hi there, Gleok! <laughs> Yeah, this definitely has the feeling of a level 3 or a level 1, and Bobbing for Fries wants no part of that Gleok with only one heart left to go. Uh, based off of that sh based off of the that recent path Bobbing for Fries took, I think we're in 1. If that's the case, there's going to be two items. One that is going to be on the ground, might be ripe for the taking, might have to full clear room, there might be an enemy that's got it consumed within its body, and there's going to be one item behind a staircase. So, Bobbing for Fries is definitely going to want to seek out the two items here, provided this is indeed level one. Yeah, this is, this is, this is starting to shape up to be level one to me. I think you're right. Ooh, okay, good idea. Uh, wall masters can get you while you're stuck in the door, so good good on Bobbing's part to uh, temporarily retreat and just avoid being sent all the way to the beginning of the dungeon. Ice Blue can't wait to bomb some Dodongos, and he did it pretty darn well, so he's going to get a full complement of bombs here, but he's still looking for that Triforce. Where could it be? And some folks are thinking that Bobbing for Fries may be in three. We know it's one of the two. Yep, so that's that's the beauty of uh, not knowing what level it is. It's I, I wonder if it's harder on the runners to know what level it is, or if it's harder on the commentators. I think it's harder on the commentators, to be honest. <laughs> All I know is I miss my labels. Me too, <laughs> because during if you remember during the uh, first Zelda randomizer tournament, we would have this situation here where uh, we would always say name that level. But the, the difference between this tournament and last tournament, it's a lot harder because you're not starting at the bottom of the level like you were previously. And yeah, this is really starting to look like level three. I, th I think it is level three. This is definitely level three. I, I, I can just tell by that nook of the uh, shuriken shape or whatever you want to call it. The bungee. It, yeah. Manji, thank you, yes. <laughs> this is definitely looking like level 3 to me. Oh, but Bobbing for Fries can't be touching the blue dark nuts that often. I know they're in the health dropping group, but you're losing two hearts every time you get bop. Back to start you go. Meanwhile, Ice Blue was unable to come away from with the Triforce out of level 6, just like Bobbing for Fries, so he'll have to come back later when he might have more accessories. He might have been ladder blocked for all we know. I did not catch any ladder blocks. I was paying more attention to uh, Bobbing for Fries' side because of all these blue dark nuts. Come on, game. Now, I wonder... Oh, and another bop from the blue dark nuts means Bobbing for Fries takes another death, so he'll have to try it again. Now, Ice Blue has found this same level three. All right, we are officially calling it level three, then? Got it. Yeah, I... I I, I think it's level three. I mean, the the bottom, th there would have been three rooms on the bottom row, and I didn't see three rooms on the bottom row. I mean, unless there's a bomb wall. I've, I've never seen a bomb wall in the bottom row of level one. So to me, I, I just think it's level three. Oh, now Ice Blue learns of the Dark Nuts, and ooh! Yes, indeed. We have the double river room. That means we have a potential ladder block of the item here in level three. Obviously, that's not going to be the push block that's going to give them the item. It's just a free Triforce, so... Bobbing for Fries is going to find a workaround, and we have a map, so we're about to confirm or deny whether or not we were right about level 3 all along. Unless, of course, these Orange Darknuts decided to not play nice, and there it is! Level 3 confirmed. 
Alright, chat wins once again. <laughs> yeah, never uh. never doubt the chat. Never doubt the chat. So, yeah, there's that one room that potentially could have an item. And, and remember, the staircase is guaranteed to have the item as levels 1 through 4 do not have the transport staircases. So, bombing for fries. And yeah, you can't push that block bombing for fries. Come on, you know better. When there's an item on the ground, you can't push. But that is going to be the first Triforce piece for bombing for fries. And we'll see if he goes back to see if he can try to find that item. Looks like he does. I am already concerned that we may have to go into the vanilla item location in order to get it, but if that's the case, we need the ladder in order to get the item. Yeah, right you are, because you have to fight through those orange dart nuts to get to that little room here with the nook, so no, that's just an empty room here with dart nuts, and... Bobby for Fries wants no part of it, and who can blame him? Meanwhile, Ice Blue continuing to try to find... Well, that was a nice clear of the blue dart nuts there. He still has one heart left to go, and he's going to find that little nook at the end. But Bobby for Fries trying to... Explore oh! S sorry, Ice Blue's got caught. Oh, yeah. Well, unfortunately, that's just the way it works out sometimes. So Bobby for Fries is going to check a different path here. Yeah, getting getting laced or wall mastered or whatever you want to call it. And Bobby for Fries, well, he's key blocked out of that particular room. We'll see if he's able to find a workaround. Yeah, he's going to have to take now. He has no choice but to take care of this three-headed Gleok. And he's got to be careful because every time he gets hit by the fireball, I think these rolled low. It rolled low. That was a great fight for Bobby for Fries. Mm. It was either a low roll or excellent use of the sword wand glitch, and item was on the right-hand side. What are we going to have this time? We were key blocked. Nice block we have tip. art container. Just a lot of love today. So you had back-to-back -back rooms with heart containers, and with those two heart containers, Bombing for Fries is up to six hearts. He's now guaranteed the white sword item if he can find it. But so far, it's we've only uh, stayed in uh, one quadrant. Oh, there's another dungeon! Unbelievable! Usually it's Death Mountain that has clusters of dungeons like this, not the Lost Hills. So four <laughs> levels down, all ready for these runners. A recorder what? Power bracelet what? Of course, still plenty of this race left to go. Let's see if this is going to be an item or if this is going to be a transport staircase. And it's an it's item the ladder! <laughs> oh my god! Gosh, but then the question is, what level is this? We already have some people in chat saying that this is potentially level 7, which means we may have... Oh gosh, that was near top row. Yeah, I think we may have just avoided having to dive deep into these 33 rooms of Chaos Incarnate. Oh, you're absolutely right, and Bobby for Fries is out of there, so I'm going to tentatively put that this Ice Blue dungeon that Bobby for Fries is in was level 7. If that ladder is there... It's one of the most painless level 7s you are ever going to see. Now, watch it not be level 7. Just just to spite us all. I'm putting 7 on my personal tracker here. <laughs> as, am, as am I. Watch us all get burned by it, though. As Ice Blue does get the Triforce out of level 3, so that is his second Triforce piece. And he's got 6 hearts to his name. So both of our runners are now guaranteed the White Sword item, whatever it is. Wow, it's we've barely done much in the overworld. We've already found four dungeons, and uh, Eat My Steel brings up. Uh, I may need you to help verify this, but could this be level eight as well? Uh Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Now we have Bobbing for Fries in level four, and if he's able to explore correctly, he's going to find his um, recorder as well, as Ice Blue's going to get his ladder out of what we tentatively, tentatively think is level seven, but now we think it could potentially be level eight. Well, interesting. That, that, that's, that's, that's why knowing these dungeon layouts are going to be quite important, because if this is indeed level eight and not level seven then we could be looking there and we're looking at two items based off of that door it's seven all right so we were right the whole time we didn't get burned by the game for once <laughs> we could have been all wrong and we would have been all we would have all looked brown in the face and i believe that's the bait block a useless bait block because that's a different sprite on the ice blue side it was a stalfos instead of an old man so yeah bait's not required 
However, it may be another... It may be a different level. It could be five. Hmm. Well, if Ice Blue pauses, we'll get an idea. Because if it's level five, it would be... Uh, it would be the third Triforce from the left. Let's find out if he pauses. No. Nope. <laughs> We're going to be held into suspense, Wolfman. Of course. <laughs> of course, these runners want to make us commentators suffer and, you know, <laughs> not know what these levels are, so... I'm, I'm still calling it seven, but we're, we're, we're going to find out maybe never. Because remember, most of these runners have select slot block. And that is not a door repair penalty. That is one of the two hints. So the uh, merchant that you saw at the start that we thought might have been a door repair penalty, indeed is a door repair penalty. So Ice Blue loses nothing. There's our first secret, and it's 16 rubies. That's pretty good for a small secret. So above, well above average. And 20 minutes in, that is the longest I think I've ever seen a run go without any money. And there's the door repair. Oh gosh, that looks like an expensive one. It's 23 rupees. Yes, that is an expensive door repair penalty. And there are 10 of them. So Bobby for Fry is going to find his recorder. And there is paper on Ice Blue side. The letter. Show that to anybody running the merch, the potion shop. And we will find out the price of potions. And it very well could come in handy. Because as you know, drinking a potion is one of the ways to cure yourself from a red bubble curse. I just realized this is basically a battle of food versus drink here. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is, isn't it? Well, there, we're just going to check Death Mountain near Vanilla Level 9. There's a money-making game with 43 rupees. Not going to play it. If this was a poverty seed and they were sitting on between 10 and 20 rupees, I, I, you might favor a play here trying to get some extra money. But at 43, and since you haven't discovered a medium, nah, don't play money-making game right now. Bobbing for fries, trying to clip across the tea room, gets it. And wait, I saw it. Full edge, full edge. So three, four. I. Three, four, what? Uh, this is level four that Bobbing for Fries is in. So we, we knew I that know. all along. Uh, it was uh, Ice Blue had paused, and I, I had misplaced my little clip of the Triforce positions. And seven it is. That is seven. That is indeed seven. Because it was on the it was on the right center side. That's where seven is. If it was on the left center side, that's five. It's seven. Okay. So we are right, know. folks. <laughs> <laughs> After much scrutiny and much <laughs> much struggle, we have finally confirmed that it is level seven. Nice blue ring price at two hundred thirty-three rupees. Um, anywhere between uh, two thirty and two fifty-five. So definitely on the low. And as Ice Blue is going to go ahead and pick up that raft, does not get any bomb drops, unfortunately, from the blue Octrox. We'll see if the raft is required. It's been a while since I've done a run where the raft has been needed. Unfortunately, level four proven to be a doozy for Bob for Fries. He takes another death. All right, time to check out what's on the coastal raft spot. Money? Large secret, and it's 93 rubies. That's not terrible. I, I, it's like the best large I've seen in several races. No, it's not laws approved. And no, it's a little bit of below the you know the vanilla amount of 100. But I have seen plenty of worse large secrets than that. So I consider that a win. It's going to come down to the medium now. Uh -huh, Joe, using the recorder to enter a dungeon. Another. And wow. Well, we're officially out of the uh, 4x4 quadrant, but now, which level is this? Now it's oh. a Wizard of Legend. Well, that much we know. Oh, uh, joy, Wizrobes. And, and these blue ones can cheat! That, that technically wasn't cheating, but they still hurt. Let's just call it cheating because, you know, the land mole is just zero in on you. If you don't have those Pegasus boots from, you know, Link to the Past, forget getting away from them. And Bobbing for Fries does find his Triforce out of level four. That's going to be his second Triforce piece. Now, to answer Clavier's um, um, question in chat, the lower limit of the large secret is 50. Yes, indeed, it is 50. The high end of the large secret could be up to 150. And Chad is already calling that this is level one. And of course, go figure, it's a whiz rope dungeon. If that is, this is indeed level one. There's going to be two items, one on the ground and one behind a staircase. So 
When Bobby for Fries uh, picks up this raft here, uh, he'll he'll he was not going to find a docking fee. He's going to find the dock that pays him, and it's going to pay him well. And while we're dealing with some tricky combat here, good time for all of you folks at home to please follow our runners and staff as they are certainly, you know, the runners are giving us a good race and and the rest of the staff is just making sure that this can be shown here. So please follow Ice Blue, Bobbing for Fries, my commentary partner, Laws Cards Fan 23, our tracker Tetrally, and our restreamer MathGirl718. Absolutely. Now, Ice Blue trying to get through the uh, defensive line, and he does, and he scores the touchdown, the bow! Wizrobe's guarding the bow. That just feels wrong. Meanwhile, Bobby for Fries, hey, that's a nice medium secret there that behind Recorder Lake in the second quest, 34 rupees. So, tell you what, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm going to call this an above average money seed. No, it's not a big money seed because the large wasn't laws approved, but this is definitely an above average money seed. This is playable. It's kind of rare to, <laughs> it's. Yeah, a, a reasonable money seed for second quest. Hard to believe. Yeah, I agree 100%, Wolfman. I've done a lot of these already in the bracket stages. I think this is the best I have seen in a long time. And now Ice Blue going to skirt past these Blue Wizards. Now he's going to be looking for the more difficult item, the one that is going to be on the ground. And uh-oh, we've got more Uncle Wizzies here. Wizards just... Go away. Uh -oh. oh my gosh! Out of the frying pan and into the fire! How many blue wizards can we possibly see? I can understand that Ice Blue doesn't want to spend a key and he does not get hit as those blue wizards leave him alone. Come on, anything else that's better? Oh my! Silver arrows! Silver arrows on the coast, White Sword Cave. Unbelievable. So if these runners find level 9, we could be looking at a jet seed here. Oh. There's the first warp! Second warp in the graveyard. That's a pretty good spot. So, Bombing for Fries can do some exploration around vanilla level 6. Ice Blue finds the compass, so now he knows exactly where the Triforce is. So, a very interesting development. Both of our runners have half of the puzzle pieces needed to defeat Ganon. Unfortunately, Bombing for Fries finds a door repair penalty behind vanilla level 6. An important key there for Ice Blue as he's up to three. And I say important because level one tends to be a locked door laden dungeon. So you need to have several keys typically to get through it. You're, if you find level one is your first dungeon, there's a good chance you're going to be key blocked. And there's the wood sword and Bobby for Fries will pick up the candle. We have not found any bonus caves. So that is a great find for Bobby for Fries. That's going to add an extra accessible take any cave for him so he can build up his health or get a potion. Uh, by the way, uh, technically, the, uh, Triforce is ladder blocked, I think. Right, it, the Triforce is ladder blocked, but of course both of our runners do have the ladder, so that's not a problem. The, the problem is, remember when I said that take, level 1 tends to be a locked door laden dungeon? There's the book! Well, now we can actually understand what uh, all of these, uh, old people are trying to say. That's a huge advantage right there for Ice Blue, because let's say he gets um, all five Triforce pieces before even getting to the coast and ends up finding level nine. Bobby for Fries just picked up a medium secret, and he's in blue ring territory right now with his 220 rupees. And because he's already got the silver arrows, Gleok returns with the magical boomerang, so we now know that one of the items in level eight is going to be scrap metal. I'm sure Ice Blue appreciates that, only needing to dig uh, for one item instead. Of course, if he finds the magical... With his luck, if he does find level 8, he'll probably find the magical boomerang first. And look at this, Bob and for Fries, another medium secret. He's at 231. He's a rupee away, I believe, or two from getting the blue ring. Unfortunately, those blue lionels mean business. Oh, that was oh, very close. That was very close indeed. There's a potion shop. I don't believe, though, Bobbing for Fries has the letter. I believe it was Ice Blue that found the letter, so Bobbing for Fries can't do anything here. That's my understanding as well. 
So Ice Blue has to clear these bunnies and these orange wizard robes if he wants to claim his Triforce. And it's a relatively tricky room because you have the wizard robes that spawn between the lakes like that. It's going to be a tough time. He's trying to take care of the bunnies first, but he's got to be careful. An orange wisdom beeb to the face or wherever. You're going to... Oh, no! Commentator's curse. I'm sorry, Ice Blue. I was about to say, four hearts of damage without any rings. That is, you know, the most powerful attack you can suffer from with the uh, exception of Ganon's... Uh, Touch <laughs> that deals the same amount for hearts. Right, uh, right. A high rule driver or a Ganon hug, and actually the reason why he couldn't use his sword, he got cursed, red bubble. So he unfortunately was not able to stab the bunnies or the wizards. And with, and he, you know, he could have used bombs, but he opted not to. Now he's back into level one. Uh, technically, uh, the the wand does work as long as you strike with the wand, but not have the fire hit. Yep, exactly. You, you 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 can use the wand to take down the um, poles' voices, but you have to use the tip. If you try to do a long range attack, they will just deflect the beam. Exactly. There's the bomb shop. Ugh, look at the price Ugh. of the bombs. Thirty-one <laughs> rupees. That's more than fifty percent above the vanilla price. And a cheap blue candle, which he, he doesn't need. And. Um, Relatively expensive. Well, there's a there's cheap bait there for 44 rupees, but we know that bait is not required. So now we're finding out the uh, shop prices and bombing for fries. He's looking for a blue ring shop. Unfortunately, he hit a couple of a uh, door repair penalties to take him out of blue ring range, but still plenty of money left to go. <sighs> Uh, Bobbing for Fries knows where a blue ring shop is. Uh, both of them did uncover the one by the ladder item. Uh, uh, Ice Blue wishing he had the blue ring right there, but not much that can be done. Yep, took some potassium to the face by that blue um, gorilla there, so back to start he goes. There's a small secret for bombing for fries, so he's back to 217, so he's another secret away from being able to buy that blue ring, and he sees it right now. If he can just find one more secret before hitting a whammy, he will have enough to buy that uh, blue ring that'll double his defense. And that could be a very important purchase for Bobbing for Fries if he wants to get back into this race. Uh, Ice Blue is not giving up on level one yet. Don't yeah. blame him. Yeah, level one, and now Bobbing for Fries has found the same level one here, and he's going to be in for a world of hurt. It's Uncle Wizzy's clubhouse. It's potassium to the face, it's these two-headed gleox, it's the county fair cuties all rolled up into one. And if... Now, fortunately, the bow is early, so as long as Bobbing for Rise is able to avoid uh, dealing with uh, these whiz robes, then it should be fine. Yeah, That's, that... unfortunately, the problem. It's a lot of blue whiz robes that do two hearts of damage. Either its body or their beams. So Ice Blue going to try it again here in this whiz robe room. And now with the sword in hand, he'll have a much easier time. Unfortunately, it looks like we have lost connection on Bobbing for Fries. We'll try to get him back up as soon as we possibly can here. But now Ice Blue's got a really good chance of getting through this. He's just got yeah. one more bunny to go. And done. Whew. Four, that is the fourth. Yep, four pieces of the Triforce of Wisdom have been found. Now, where will the fifth one be? I, I just realized, we haven't found level nine yet. No, we have not found level nine, and it could be anywhere at this point. It could be power bracelet block for all we know. And to answer uh, KTAP's question, can a runner use the bow if they are cursed by a red bubble? The answer to that question is yes. They just cannot use their sword. And now so, Ice Blue finds the same dilemma that he's a little short of that blue ring. Yeah. So, Edgy in chat is correct. We have not seen levels 2, 5, 8, or 9. Yeah, I mean, we do know that one of the items in level 8, if they do find it, is going to be that magical boomerang. And, like we okay, a... we have footage again for Bobbing for Fries. What, once we get a pause screen, we will know if uh, Silver Arrows have been acquired. 
No, he's got the silver arrows. You're talking about the bow out of level one. Right, the bow. Thank you. Yes. So uh, we'll find out if he had uh, discovered that staircase yet. Ice Blue has found the taken, so one of them doesn't take you very far. That was that was the third and fourth warps. <laughs> so that was nice to find. Oh, but I. That's one of the advantages of the warps. Ice Blue is about to get silvers. Yep, and we've got ourselves a ball game, and actually, Ice Blue's going to take the lead on this because of his Triforce advantage. He's got the four Triforce pieces, where Bobby for Fries just has two, and that's going to put Ice Blue in go mode because, well, almost. Let's call it Schrodinger's go mode for this reason. We don't know where level nine is, and for all we know, it could be Power Bracelet Block. Okay, Bobbing for Fries officially has the bow, so it is it is just down to Triforce lead. Yep, and of course, it's still anybody's game, because again, neither of our runners know where level 9 is, and of course, level 9 is what we like to call the Great Equalizer, because of how trolly it can be. And if it's a wizard Robe set, the way, the way this has been a heavy combat seed for both of our runners... These runners could be in for a heck of a time. We'll, we'll know in due, in due time, though, once we do find that level 9, wherever it is. Indeed. But here, having the bow and silver arrows helps greatly. You can't actually use the silver arrows against the wizard robes, but Bobbing for Fries is able to make that room easy. Now, Ice Blue also finds a candle before he finds a bonus cave or a candle shop, so he's able to get a free candle off the Wood Sword Cave. So, I think of all the Zelda randomizer races I've done, I think this is the first time I've ever seen both runners get the blue candle out of the Wood Sword Cave. That's amazing. You don't see that every day. Is there a rule that says that at least one candle shop has to be uh, openly accessible? Um, I want to say yes, but I'm not 100% sure about that rule. I think it's the case if we were dealing with no extra candles. Is Bobby for Fries, well, he was back in level 4, but he has no business being in level 4, and thanks for the old news, old man. We already know about the Silver Arrows. Um, it, it was still good to know, uh, you know, maybe five minutes ago, and ooh, there's the expen- that, actually, the key shops in the in the me in both of those weren't too bad. No, not at all. And it looks like Bombing for Fries is now back into level 6. Nice. We're going to go ahead and purchase that cheap bait for 44 rupees. Now, uh, now, unless our eyes are playing tricks, um, Wolfman, I think we already saw the bait block on Ice Blue side, but he he may not have known that just because of the location of that that Stealthos. It was it was in a you know inauspicious room to make you think that there's really not a bait block there. But um, you know, it's 44 rupees. You know, you can't fault him to make that play. Yeah, I, I, honestly, if I if I had some of those um, nerves, I probably would have done the same thing. But I think that was the uh, bait block room that we already saw. Yeah. So, um, Bobby for fries. Now we remember we already found the one here in level six. He is, so he's looking for just the triforce now, and that would even up the score here at four apiece. So, this is this race right now is very much up for grabs. Uh, it's not going to be in Zelda's room. No, there's no drop in Zelda's room. In fact, uh, she's been inducted by Blue Dark Nuts as Ice Blue finds the magical sword with the SOS Morse code message there. But unfortunately, he finds himself at least three hearts short to pick up the sword that's going to do four HP of damage. So, Ice Blue. And because of where that magical sword is, unless level nine is in this area, I don't think we're going to see these runners go back for it. Yeah, I kind of have to agree. Maybe the fries. vanilla, maybe the second quest vanilla letter location will have something. Hey, you never know. There is a secret for Ice Blue, a small secret that's going to put him at 216. Now, Bobak for Fries is up to 247 rupees, so now he is in Blue Ring territory. If he comes away with the Triforce here in level 6, and there's a <laughs> line! And it's vanilla second quest location. People in chat, you know what to do about that. I don't remember the last time I've seen a level 9 in second quest vanilla level 9 spot. That might be the first time for me, too, so I'm seeing a lot of firsts here in this 
this particular race here. That's the beauty of Zelda Randomizer is I've, as many races I've done, Wolfman, you've done as well. You're always seeing things that you've never seen before time and time again. That's the beauty of this. Indeed, Laws, indeed. Potion Shop was just found by Death Mountain, so that helps, along with more gambling. Apparently the casino moved to the northwest, actually. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, with that level 9 discovery, Ice Blue takes the lead because knowing where level 9 is is just humongous. So that power bracelet requirement, throw that out the window because we do not need the power bracelet to beat this seed. Yep, we've gone from Schrodinger to full knowledge go mode at this point. Look out, Bobby for fries. He was surrounded by those uh, wall masses for a little bit. Now he's got the maximum 255 rupees. So, yeah, he if he... If he clears this, he could definitely make that play to level 9. Now Ice Blue's back in that same level 6 that Bobbin for Fries is. So he has a one Triforce lead and the knowledge of where level 9 is. Bobbin for Fries, he's going to have to make that play to go into level 9. Yeah, those those, those wall masters are either 5 or 6 HP. That's, that's, that's gross. Actually, uh, funny enough, Bobbin for Fries needs to go back to 7. Because the Triforce was so close. Well... I, I can understand that because, you know, level 7, it, it happened to be a friendly level 7, something you don't see every day in Vanilla Shapes Randomizer, but it happened to be the case this time around. But knowing how this this is going, uh, I got a feeling Bobby Fries is not going to go back into level 7 into 33 rooms of pure havoc. But who knows? Oh, Compass, this is going to help. Or maybe not. We have to go all the way to the other end. Oh, wow. And that's in level six. I almost like I'm, I'm serious. Lately, I've been calling level six, level seven junior because of how linear it can be. And look where that Triforce is all the way on the bottom. However, this passageway may take us to that bottom. But no, Bobbing for Fries isn't taking it yet. And he wants that key first. Makes sense. He'll grab this key, then maybe he'll take that staircase, and Ice Blue's out of level 6. Well, I wonder why. I... Was... Maybe a save and quit, maybe got cursed and we had missed it? That very well could be, and you know, when you see when you see red bubbles and blue bubbles, and yeah, now he's going to go ahead and take the staircase. So yeah, the What we thought was absolutely correct, he just wanted that key, and now, ooh, this is this is good. Unfortunately, it's going to cost him his last key, and he's going to have to hope that there's no more key blocks. Well, we got a shutter with free bombs, so that'll certainly help. Yep, and he's gonna take them all. All right, two rooms to go. Uh, the, yeah, he's he's got a hope here, and looks bombable. good unless this has to be bombable. If this is not bombable, yep, good. So bombing for fries, not key blocked out of the Triforce, and another Triforce in the Triforce room, and this time there's no enemy. So chat definitely know what to do about that one as Bobby for Fries will get his fourth Triforce piece. Yeah, it had to have been bombable because level six only has one transport staircase and that was the only way to connect. Right. <laughs> if, if, there, if there was no way to get to that room via a bomb hole, a Fred would have had some explaining to do. Well, Bobby for Fries is out of level six with 247 rupees to his name, but he's not making a beeline for the blue ring. Is he going back to seven? But... Oh, come on, come on, go to seven, Bobbing for Fries. No, he's screen scrolling. Or, no, he's no, not. He... But he's not going to level seven either. What yes, is he, is. he doing? How are you... <laughs> what is he trying to do to us commentators here? He, he, he's trying to trick us all. But he is going back to level seven to get his Triforce here. And that would get, make him eligible to go into level nine. Unfortunately for Bobbing for Fries, he does not know where level nine is. We know it is in vanilla second quest level nine spot, so... This could get interesting. And now Ice Blue's got the all-important compass, and now he knows exactly where he needs to be to get that Triforce. Bobbing for Fries just has to get the Triforce here out of level 7. Now, of course, it was easy for Ice Blue, but what's not to say it might not be so easy for Bobbing for Fries? He could take the wrong turn to uh, San Jose instead of the right turn into Albuquerque, and this could turn into a full clear level 7. There wasn't much uh, of level 7 to explore, if I recall correctly. The bait block should be to the left of Bobbing for Fries right here. Now, interesting enough, Ice Blue decided not to go after the Triforce out of level 6. Now, 
the only thing I can think of is either resource management, and there's that uh, there's that quote unquote uh, bait block that Bobbing for Fries has now just discovered. He now knows it's not required. He might have backed out of level six because he wanted more resources, and you know it makes the most sense. There's the Triforce for Bobbing for Fries. He's got all five Triforce pieces, so he's got the lead in the Triforce department. He's eligible to go into level nine, but he does not know where level nine is. Now, with the 248 rupees, I, I gotta believe he's gotta make that play for the blue ring before he makes his quest to try to find level nine. I mean, to me, it makes the most sense. We'll see what he decides to do. I think Bobbing for Fries agrees with you, heading in that general direction. Yeah, I mean, you, you never know what kind of enemies you're going to find in level 9. And again, level 9 tends to be the great equalizer. It could be for combat, resources. Well, speaking of resources, he has no keys left. So he is going to buy the blue ring. So he's going to opt to buy the blue ring as to say maybe save his money for keys. So to me, it's a percentage play. If this is a heavy combat level 9, it's a great purchase. However, if this is one of those level 9s that has a lot of locked doors and very few keys to be found... It's going to be tough for Bobbing for Fries. Alright. That is the second purchasable hint shop, but Ice Blue doesn't need it. Nope. And there is our first bonus cave 45 minutes in. Bobbing for Fries will take the heart container, so he's now up to seven. And right behind, Ice Blue finds a take in a cave, and he'll pick up the potion. That's a great move because, again, it's one more thing to get rid of the uh, red bubble curse here and it's a free potion so you're gonna take it and your odds of getting that magical sword very low bobby for fries if he takes the right staircase to go to death mountain no he's going to the coast now maybe he picked wrong he he did that was his first time entering that warp also technically uh there was a take any found in death mountain prior so we found the second and third immediately there's the fourth on the river Wow, so we go from not finding the take any caves to finding all the take any caves 46 minutes in. Speaking of 46 minutes in, since we're getting close to almost beating the seat, I'm going to go over the items that we have found so far. Go level 1 it. had the bow, you bet. Level 1 had the bow and the book. We don't even know where level 2 is. Level 3 has the heart container, level 4 has the recorder. We don't even know where level 5 is. Level 6 has the wand. Level 7 has the ladder. By a hint, we know that one of the items in level 8 is the magical boomerang, but we don't know where that level is. Our most statue item is the white sword, the ladder item on the coast is the raft, and the white sword item is the silver arrows. The two big items these runners are going to want to try to find are the red ring and the magical key, especially on Bobbing for Fry's case. Ice Blue finds a level behind vanilla level 4, and if this is the any key... Ice Blue is going to neutralize the advantage Bombing for Fries has with that blue ring, but he does find a medium secret that'll get him a little bit of cash to spend. Uh, technically this is- ooh, Toll Room! Also, I think Ice Blue is an 8, and so, Bobbing for Fries is there as well. Wow! So, Bobbing for Fries finds a level, but it's not the level he wants, so he's gonna bail out of there. I mean, you certainly can't fault him, because he's looking for level 9. Uh, hold on, Chad is thinking it could be five instead. We'll find out once some more rooms are explored. You know what? I'm going to invoke this strategy because we are all not sure about what level is. Is it two, five, or eight? You know what level it's it is? It's two! It's ten! <laughs> oh, it's two? <laughs> Why, did we find the drop item? Yep, power bracelet on the ground. Wow, so power bracelet is the item here in level two, and yeah, it has to be level two because that item is on the ground. It is not behind a staircase. So for, for throw all the uh, saver metrics out the window. We know what level it is now just because the game decided to give us commentators a break in playing Name That Level. Though the reason that Ice Blue is in here right now is to... It, yes, uh, it was good to at least uh, eliminate the uh, Triforce, you know, the uh, item, but we're, he's still looking for the piece of the Triforce. Yeah, because he's one Triforce short of being able to go into level 9, but there's a heart container. I put him up to 9 hearts. Both of our runners do have a red potion to their name right now. Now, there are four items left in play. That is Lord Banana, the Red Candle, the Red Ring, and the Magical Key, so... There's a good chance that a great item is going to be in level 9. Agreed. And for those that are unfamiliar, uh, banana is the wooden boomerang. 
Correct. And there's another take any K for Bobby for fries. He'll pick up the heart container. Already had a potion in hand. That'll put him up to eight hearts with the blue ring. That doubles his defense. He essentially has 16 hearts to Ice Blue's nine. So Ice Blue going to try to find this Triforce here, and he'll make his play to level nine. Another medium secret for bobbing for fries. He's up to 68 rupees. But Ice Blue got to be careful. He's down to his last half heart. There's the map. He does not need it. So he's going to skirt by it. We already knew that this was level two. But unfortunately, Bobbing for Fry is heading in the wrong direction. He's going to check the Armo statue. We haven't checked in. We're 49 minutes in. This is a popular death spot early on for runners. But with that, that clock drop, no death for Bobbing for Fries. But, oh gosh, that dark, that blue dark nut room. Oh, and that blue dark nut room. If wow, I blue lagoon. That... <laughs> level eight, everybody. <laughs> Nice, Blue still trying to find that Triforce. A much more easier room with these gels, but he missed the mark completely on those first two shots. Bobby for Fry is still trying to find where level nine is. Now he's heading in the right, he's on the right track. Now he's gonna blow his whistle and he, swing and a miss. Maybe he decided not to warp there or, now nah, he is deciding to warp, but yeah, he just whiffed on that whirlwind. Now he's heading the wrong direction again. Ouch. Meanwhile, Ice Blue's still trying to find the Triforce. He makes quick work of those orange dart nuts in the turret room. <laughs> this looks more like level 8 than level 2, just because of the room layouts, for <laughs> Pete's sake. Well, there's, a, there's your level 7 for... Uh, level 8 for second quest, rather! <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This is level 8 first and second quest combined in level 2's dungeon layout. What is going on, game? So it kind of, so I was partially right in spirit, uh, but uh, there we go, Dodongo's guarding the Triforce. Now Ice Blue can properly enter level 9 and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> well, right now, the longer it takes for Bombing for Fries to head for Death Mountain, the bigger of a lead Ice Blue is going to have. But it's not going to be much of a lead. Now, he does have the key advantage with 3. He's got the money advantage of the 175, so he can buy keys if he wants to. Now, Bombing for Fries could buy a key if he'd like with his 83 rupees, but I do believe there is a door repair penalty coming up in the screen, if I remember right. Yes, there is. So, unfortunately, he's going to go back to 60 in a moment. Ooh. Oh, Bombing for Fries is misremembering which side, which screen you have to bomb on the right side to go across. Oh, he's, and, 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 you know, this is, there it is. And unfortunately, this one was the door repair. Yep, so he's down to 60, as I had mentioned. Now Ice Blue going to make the play to level 9. And for those of you who just joined us, it is in vanilla second quest level 9 spot. But Bobbing for Fries does find the letter, which if this is a trolley level 9 with a lot of red bubbles and a lot of whiz robes, he could buy some potions if he'd like. All right, as I traditionally do whenever I help Com, I try to track how level 9 is shaped. I mean, we know it's going to be the skull, but you know how insane a <laughs> level 9 can be. Yeah, it can also have those one-offs, those dead-end staircases that can lead you to just one room, even though it's technically not segmented. So now 52 minutes and 19 minutes into this race, Ice Blue the first to traverse level 9. Wolfman, what are we looking for? Ah... Uh... We are looking for where the beast is and where the kidnapped is. Finding the beast is going to be relatively simple! Unbelievable! <laughs> One room in! Ladies and gentlemen, here's Ganon! We're looking for anywhere between six and eight hits, and wouldn't it be something if Princess Zelda was behind one of those two shutter door rooms? Ice Blue's got the stun lock. Couple more hits left to go. Down goes the beast. We've got bacon and a drive force of power. So now Ice Blue, all he's got to do is find the shutter door room that automatically opens, and he's going to be a winner. Well, she's not there. That's a staircase room. But he doesn't check the other shutter door room. That is the exception to the rule in terms of the single shutter door room for where Zelda could be. If Zelda and Ganon are next to each other, that's a case where she can be behind a room with multiple shutter door rooms. So a little bit surprised that Ice Blue decided not to check there, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't think it was possible because the other one was a key door heading into that same one. So that's he's fine. Good. Yep, so he's good. Yeah. Bobbing for Fries is heading in the right direction, so the race to finding the hide-and-seek champion is on. 
Bottom Surprise is getting a little bit closer to where he needs, but now he's going the wrong direction. Now he's heading toward the forgotten spot, and that's just going to further increase the lead for Ice Blue. Oh gosh, whiz robes. <laughs> And it is a wizard of set, so this could get interesting. Unfortunately, no Zelda there. It was a double shutter door room anyways. Here's a single one, but that is also not where Zelda is behind these blue gorillas. So Ice Blue continuing to have to look for the princess here. Now Bobby for Fry is heading back towards the right direction again. For those of you who just joined us, Level 9 is behind its vanilla second quest spot. So that's where Bobby for Fries needs to head to in order to take on Ganon and rescue Princess Zelda. Another single shutter door room, but another red herring for Ice Blue. But time is running out for Bobby for Fries, and now he's going to head toward the meat of Death Mountain, it looks like. But he is running out of time because Ice Blue is flying through this level 9. Uh, ooh, possible dead end. No, wait, we found a bomb hole. There's a locked door to the left here. And again, another situation to keep your eyes on out, out on for. Bobby for Fries has no keys, and now he's down to two bombs. So if he runs out of bombs before he completes his entire um, Death Mountain exploration, he could be boned here. That's putting it mildly. Third passageway found. We are... Oh, he gets a lucky bomb drop from those blue moblins there, so now he's got a little bit of extra ammunition. Ah, sorry, Bobby for Fries. You can't check that magical sword. You need at least ten hearts to have a chance here. But he's getting close to where he needs to be as Ice Blue decides to go and up and A and make another path here. I still can't believe we found uh, Ganon that quickly. I didn't even have a chance to talk about Ganon being loud and proud here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, for, throw out all the windows. Throw out every, throw everything out the window here. Bobbing for Fries is just a couple screens away here. He's going to head for this spot here first. He still has plenty of bombs to finish his level 9 exploration here. Hopefully he remembers that northwest corner. Oh, but he missed his shot. Now he's down to one bomb. Uh, ice blue, uh, I would go one passage at a time. <laughs> yep, and now if, 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 he, if he bombs incorrectly here, and this is a bomb spot, unfortunately, he's going to spend his last bomb, and there needs to be a bomb shop here, but it's a door repair penalty. Oof. Now he's got to find bombs again. Oh, that missed bomb could be his undoing there. Another single shutter door room, another red herring for Ice Blue, still looking for the princess again. He's looking for a room with enemies in it, a single shutter door room that's going to automatically open. Trying to cover the rest of the southeast quadrant has some And he's going to up an A because he's out of bombs. Oh, th this could be all she wrote, folks. Oh. And it doesn't help that the price of bombs is 31. That's just bad. Oh, that is just brutal. And that, and you have to go back. You have to go back, Wolfman, to that missed bomb at that one spot, two screens, two or three screens away from Death Mountain, the level nine axis. He missed his bomb shot, and that was the bomb he needed to open up level nine. Ugh, that is brutal. And uh oh, is this actually a trap room? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Not yet. Not a stealth staircase. It's actually a staircase you can bomb out of it. And that and that's the thing about um, Randomizer. Even though the whole dungeon connects to each other, you could have those one-off rooms like that. But unfortunately, or fortunately for Ice Blue, that is not the case. All right. So so far, this dungeon is actually in a little bit of a loop. We have seen a number of ways to get to some of these same rooms. And, and at least if we need some more bombs, the uh, gorillas and red whiz robes will certainly help with that. Looks like Bobby Fries is going to head back to Death Mountain just based on how he's routing this out. And when he when he finds out that that level nine was there and he had missed on a bomb, uh, he, he is going to be groaning. And now he's getting bombs. Of course, he's getting bombs when he didn't need them now because the game knows. Ah, oh, that is just brutal for Bob and Fries. You gotta feel for him because he's played the seed very, very well. And you know, it's not over yet. If he, you know, if he finds a quicker path to Princess Zelda than Ice Blue has found so far, he could still snipe this away for from Bob from Ice Blue. But time is indeed running out for Bobby. 
All right, new bomb pass found. The kidnapped awaits in southwest of Skull. That's a huge hit for Ice Blue. And there's a direct path to get there. Well, almost direct. I think we may have to find uh, another passageway, but at least we know where we're going. All right, there is a shutter door room that automatically opens, but that is not in the southwest region. That is in the northwest region, but he is getting very, very close now. Now bombing for fries has found level nine, but it could very well be too little, too late. However, Ice Blue is down to his last part and a half. If he takes a death here, this potentially could give bombing for fries an opening here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, one more time. He is Ganon. Let's see how bobbing for fries does. A high roll driver will cost him two hearts. Let's see if he can get the stun lock. He does have a double potion ready at hand. Could not get the stun lock on that one. There's two, three. Lost him there. Now I don't know if I saw the shutter door there or not. That, no, that's still not southwest. Now there's a shutter door, but that is not it either. So ice will get him closer. There's a couple more hits on Bobby for Fry's side, but now he's in Hyrule Driver range. You gotta be careful. No! no! The double knockout! And that is unfortunate, and that very well could be all she wrote now for sure. Oh, that is a tough one. He takes down Ganon, but he touches the body before he's able to shoot him with the silver arrows, and that means he's gonna have to do the fight again. Oh, brutal. However, there's no time for that fight! We found Zelda! Yep, Shutter Door automatically opens, and get your GGs out for Ice Blue. He will be advancing to the next round of the bonus bracket. Boy, what a race this was between Ice Blue and Bobbing for Fries. But in the end, it came down to who routed out level 9 first, and that missed Bomb on Bobbing for Fries. We'll see what the difference is at the end, but that missed Bomb there probably did it. Did it. Official SRL time, 1 hour, 32 seconds. Boy, that's a pretty good time there that Ice Blue put up here. And down goes the pig on bombing for Fry's end. He'll pick up the Triforce of Power, so now he'll be looking for the single shutter door room that automatically opens. And I'll tell you, if, if, if he ends up routing Princess Zelda a lot faster than Ice Blue did, unfortunately, remember, he still has no keys. And he did the right thing there. He checked both shutter door rooms. Unfortunately, there's going to be no princess here. And if, if, if Zelda would have been there, if Zelda would have been there, oh, and popping her fries, oh, and now he finds a double locked door room, two door money, and no keys to play it with. The, the, the strange thing is, the way that this dungeon was set up, I think you could potentially take either of those doors and find another way to Zelda. Uh, with that, we do have our winner, Ice Blue, here in the commentator's booth with us. GG, as we find the red candle on Bobbing for Fry's side. He's not going to pick it up. Congratulations on your victory. It pretty much boiled down to one thing, and it was who found level 9 first. And you were the one that found level 9 first, and unfortunately, Bobbing for Fry's had some bomb issues in Death Mountain. That gave you enough of an opening to take this match. Go over the seat with us. Uh... I don't, I don't, I went back into six trying to grab the Triforce from there, but I don't know, I couldn't find the staircase because you couldn't go down, so I just left, and I was like, alright, we're just gonna dig for another dungeon. Uh, but finding level seven and finding the ladder immediately and then one screen over was the Triforce was, like, really handy. Yeah, what, what do you think about level seven being the friendliest level seven you'll see in a while? That's the only level 7 I'll see in a while. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> now, here was the situation here. Um, Bobbing for Fries purchased the blue ring, but he had key problems going into level 9. He started level 9 with zero keys. You had, I believe, three keys to your name. Now, I don't think keys ended up being an issue for you, so they shouldn't be an issue for Bobbing for Fries. But um, the two things that kind of put the race away where Bobby for Fries had a chance to maybe snipe you. He had a double knockout against Ganon. He got Hyrule Driver at the same time he got the last hit in on him. The other thing, as I mentioned earlier, was the finding level 9 first. He misplaced one of his bombs on Death Mountain, and before he could check the vanilla level 9 spot in second quest, he ran out of bombs. Oh. 
So this could have potentially been a photo finish here, but it wasn't meant to be. But you are the winner, so congratulations. So your next opponent here in the bonus bracket is going to be Malagord. So uh, go over what your prospects might be for your next race. Uh, I mean, it's Pentaforce. Anything goes. Absolutely. Absolutely indeed. Because... Yeah, anything goes indeed. And, and, and this race just came down to one thing, and it was finding level nine first. Because, believe it or not, Bob and for Fries found the five Triforce pieces before you did. And both of you had the bow and silver arrows, and unfortunately the blue Riz robes do Bob and for Fries in. So, back to start he goes. Uh, I think that was a permanent affliction, folks. Bobbing for Fries has forfeited from the race. Yeah, he's, he's, he knows that, unfortunately, his tournament has come to an end, but get your GGs out for Bobbing for Fries. He was in it the entire way, folks, and, you know, he had a chance there, but that's just the nature of Zelda Randomizer sometimes. Both of you played this seat extremely well, and, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. In your case, Ice Blue, it worked out beautifully for you. So, again, congratulations. Moving on to the next round of the tournament, and um, tell you what, you're going to be a force to be reckoned with because you, you've been playing pretty well throughout the entire tournament. And I've seen you during the weekly randomizer showcase runs and you have, you, you are really standing out for some good talent here. So wish you the best of luck in your next run. I appreciate it. How did you guys like the, uh, three, four, six, seven, and like five tiles on the map? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> What was even crazier for us, though, was we were all having trouble figuring out which levels they were. It was like, is this level 3? Is this level 8? Is this level 1? Is this level 5? We never found 5 or 8, turns out. Walking into those dungeons, because I'm an any percent runner, you memorize the layouts. So yeah. I, I, have a, I had a marked. I had 3, 4, <clears throat> excuse me, 3, 4, 6, 7, 2, and 1. 1 was well, in a quarter spot. Yeah, well... I'm a, I'm a any percent no open a runner myself, but I don't even memorize those maps. It's just muscle memory on my end. So for me, it's a lot harder than you. But say, give I, I got to give you props. You you played extremely well, and you're moving on to the next round. And it looks like we do have bombing for fries here in the commentators booth. GG. I'll tell you what. You were the first to get the five Triforce pieces. The only problem was uh, your opponent found level nine first. And when you got to Death Mountain, what was your reaction when you placed that last bomb and then you came back and level nine was behind Vanilla Second Quest level nine? Well, of course, I was disappointed that I ran out of bombs and then had to come all the way back across the world to find it. But I was happy it was there instead of having to dive into you know vanilla four and find a power bracelet and then, <laughs> then go from there because that's i think what it was down to uh on my on my tracker Le level two did have the power bra bracelet actually <laughs> i think level two was a saving grace for me because i picked up like four keys in there before heading to nine yeah, and that's the thing with level two, because I know in the vanilla game, as you know as well, that there's a lot of keys that you collect and you avoid all those locked doors to the east where the magical boomerang is. So it's kind of not surprising that you're going to find a lot of keys in that level two. But um, turned out the keys really didn't matter that much because I, I don't think you I don't I think you came out with a, a positive ending on your key total because I think you started level nine with three keys. Was that right? Ice blue three keys. I think it was four. Four keys, and I think you ended the run with uh, was it four keys. So I don't think it really. I don't think keys were going to end up being the issue in level nine. It it just ended up being a routing situation there. Um, both of you finding Ganon immediately. I mean, what did you what did you guys think of that? I heard it. The roar, yeah, and yeah. Like right when door. right when the doors opened, like I heard the roar. I was like, okay. So I, that's why I sat and waited. I was like, because I swear I just heard this. And then yeah, I was like, okay, we're gonna go left first and see. And sure enough, it was Ganon. I bet you were hoping that Zelda was going to be behind one of those two shutter doors, that it ended up not being the case. Because we've seen seeds like that. The one that really, the one that pops into my mind was in the last tournament between RC Drone and Tetra Lee, where Drone put up the only sub 40 of the tournament because Ganon and Zelda were two rooms in. I think I didn't, I didn't go left. I think I went up from Ganon's room. Uh, so I never got to see the path that went left. Was that a direct path to Zelda? Full of nope. Full it, of nope. it was not. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it was just a dead end that had more whiz robes. Ugh. NSU yeah. and whiz robes. Um, I found it twice. <laughs> I have, I have, 
I have a hatred for whiz ropes from this seed. That level one was miserable. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what do you think about finding white swords early on? And then when you found the wood sword before you had found any taken in caves, you pick up a free candle in the wood sword cave. That's something you guys won't do every day. That was nice. That wood sword was very helpful, especially with the four HP keys. Did, did Fury roll this seed like while we weren't looking? <laughs> no, uh, I, I was the one that rolled this, and surprisingly, it was. I mean, yes, it had blue wiz robes, which almost everyone has an issue with, but I am surprised it went as fast as it did, all things considered. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, what was the HP on the blue? I don't think I even hit a blue wiz robe with a weapon. Uh, it, I don't, took I don't... Me, it took me five white sword stabs, I think. So it was yeah. either the that's... vanilla, because that's vanilla or one up. Yeah, that's very close. Yeah, I didn't I didn't particularly care for him. It was vanilla HP uh, orange was robes though. So that was nice. Mm -hmm. How about those super wall masters though? That that was ugly. And you guys are you guys are getting cornered by wall masters like every second just about. It wasn't the wall masters that bodied me in that room. It was the it was the uh Bemos. Yeah, the Bemo yeah. statues that are uh, shooting out those fireballs at you. Yeah, those are those are never fun. And <laughs> we were kind of making fun of level two being level eight in disguise. It was like level eight first quest and level eight second quest roll up into one because you had the lagoon rooms and you had the triple dodongo rooms that you see in second quest level eight. So it was nuts. I, I laughed didn't even when determine which one it was when I because when I found it, I was just looking for nine. I knew I was behind, and because if I found those items that quick, then I knew Ice found them. So I was just I didn't even bother to check to see what level it was. I was just out and finding nine. Right, and you weren't all that far behind. Uh, you were, I think you now. If you wouldn't have missed your bombs uh, yeah. in Death Mountain, it probably would have been about a two three minute race. That's it. I kind of giggled when the Dudongos dropped the Triforce in two. I was like, hey. <sighs> yeah, but that's the, that's the nature of the randomizer. Unfortunately, bobbing for fries, uh, you have been overcooked. Any final yeah. thoughts? Oh, no, I had a blast. It was uh, nice to play. Uh, play against Ice twice. I mean, I got a lot of respect for I watch him play, and uh, and he knows what he's doing. So to be in the same conversation here is uh, is a goal for me. So uh, definitely coming back later, uh, other tournaments, I'll be around. Yeah, you're going to come back stronger than ever. So, hey, congratulations on making a nice Thank run you. here in the tournament. GG to you, and uh, we wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, whatever you decide to do next. Thanks, sir. GG, Bobbing. Thank you. You as well. Mm -hmm. And again, while well, Ice Bloom, not the sub-50 that you got the last time, but still a very respectable time. Again, you are moving on to face off against Malagord in your next race, and we wish you the best of luck in your next match as you continue your quest in the Zelda Randomizer Tournament. Thank you. Give it up once more for X Ice Blue and Bobbing for Fries. Please give them a follow if you haven't already, along with the rest of the staff here, LOZ Cards Fan on comms, Tetrally on tracking, Math Girl 718 on restreaming. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, that's going to do it for us here on Random